Hello. And welcome to my repository. Psychopath. I don't think it's the same dude, but it's pretty much the same. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's pretty much the same dude, except different. If you scream psychopath out, then it's the exact same character. <laughs> but here's the thing though, is he talking to me or is he talking to you called me a psychopath? I am the curator. The curator of stories. Stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death. Stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. And ah. tell you whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish, or whether they are snuffed out. <laughs> you see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions, or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? Yeah. Sometimes you will be determining a story together, sometimes separately. What one does may not make complete sense to the other because we all have different perspectives. But as in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect each other. Oh, great. <laughs> That's not a I'll good sign. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. Ah. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Like the totems on Until Dawn. Or should I say, yeah. decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. You were, you were calling right, by the way. That's yes. For the moment. We'll just make sure. Again, soon enough, we'll have the opportunity to account Right, so from what he's telling me, taken, what you, your decisions can affect me, my decisions name. can affect you. So that's going to be great. Oh great! Prepare for later arguments. <laughs> Why did you chop? Why did you chop that boat off? You left me behind. Done. Oh, this is the demo portion. Should be. Brad, witty. Okay, you're Brad, yo. No, you're Brad. No, oh, 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 sorry, you're... Who's Alex? I'm Alex. Well, where is Alex? That's got to be Alex. Yeah, I'm motivated, Brad's brother, Julie's boyfriend, insecure... <laughs> Joe, you're insecure. Apparently. You're <laughs> Brad! Think we got enough? I we're don't we're know which one's back which, back. okay? So, Who's, uh, which one am I again? I've never been down there. So I'm insecure. Down. Great. The water diving or maybe you could show me how the pros do it oh or what you just... dude of course yeah I'm like practically a dive master man but I gotta tell you I'm tough no special treatment I'm still waiting for you me, which one's exactly the uh, what I you say. know the jerk of the group there's always one jerk uh... cool Cool, thanks, man. Yeah, of course. You're my bro. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Uh, oh, crud. Oh, crud. Oh. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Hey, I've got a trophy! Yeah, me too. Yeah. Brad, you're not on this trip because you're my bro. I mean, you are my brother, but 
I mean, like, we're buddies, you know? Um, kinda. Just out here to fucking hang, cool out, and kick it. What the fuck are you talking about? Let's just kick it and be legends, man. All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... So school, I'm just wondering, am I always going to be Brad and you're always going to be Alex? Like we're going to have two characters each or something? Maybe. I think we might play as two girls as well. You'll meet them in a minute. I, I hope I get ice, man. Yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. I don't know how we got that trophy for. We got a relationship. Yep. Good. Hey! So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? This is, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Not it again? Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Hey. There he is. Ah, I get it. Comrade. Well, I think it'll be perfect. Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? No, it says you're Alex. Oh, someone's got seasick. <laughs> That's me. Of course. Of course the one was the of course the nerdy one always gets seasick. Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Very true. Oh boy. Your comrade. Yay! <laughs> what about over here? It's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. Well, I thought I someone's got scuba diving. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can Alice, just take, you know, come here. a nice dive. I think we got something. Brad did his homework. If he says a wreck's here, it's here. Okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying, we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, kid's a whiz. <laughs> <laughs> We found a plane! Yep. <laughs> Always bet on Brad! We are ready to dive. Uh, that one was we should call cool. this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Totally yeah, someone, totally yeah. someone said that. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Look, for all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? Uh. Uh. Guys, look, I think we gotta listen to our experienced, beautiful, smart, and beautiful captain here. If she says we should do things Connie, right. please, I didn't bring you on this trip to get laid. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? No, no, oh, great, I'm, I'm just I, I'm just saying she's right, not because then. she's beautiful. I mean, she is beautiful. 
but that's like a coincidence. She's the captain. Look, we paid for this dive. Generously, we're diving. You're the client. But if anything goes wrong... I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Right now, I'm finally walking. Oh, hello. What do you see out of those binoculars? Clouds, ocean, shark. What? <laughs> no, no, I see a float. <laughs> a float. <laughs> what kind of float? A floater. Fishing float. Ah, right, got gotcha. you. <laughs> Just look at the camera. <laughs> What? Nothing. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, why did you do that? I was like, I was just, I, I wasn't scary. I'm just wondering, what the heck are you looking at, bro, bro, Alex? <laughs> I, I was, I hope I can get in front of you, in front of you and block your way. Oh, hello. Hey, sis. Mm-hmm. So, oh. comrades, Julia's brother. Hey, Connie, how's it going? Yep. Oh, work, work, work. I thought we came on this trip for relaxing to the max. You've never worked a day in your life. Excuse me. <laughs> what I do is hard work. And hardly working. Yeah, you should see how these rebreathers work if you're planning on diving tomorrow. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Hey, she's all right. Just a bit of a stickler for the rules. The word is bitch. Hey, look. Hey. She's not gonna be down there with me. <laughs> I can see you walking in the background. Oh, you gotta keep it in your pants around, Fliss. Just cool it with all your desperate pickup bullshit. Uh, desperate? Look, I could charm the fish from the sea, sister. Just you wait. Hey, guys. See y'all around. Alright, let's have a look. I think this might be bogus. Oh, crud. What uh, is it? Joe, jo, look at the. Joe, look, Joe, jo, if you can, look at the card. Look at her license. I'm coming. Right, look, on that table, look at her license. Right, let's see what Fliss has got. Right, so... Fel Felicity Dubbis, born on 10th of March 1983. <laughs> Diver numbers of birthday. Height brown. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Okay, you the instructor identified on the rear is authorised to conduct classes in the designated speciality as sections by Diver Master Feder Federation. Expires on 12, 12.31. Look at the back. This doesn't look kosher. The instructor... The instructor identified on the rear is authorised to conduct classes in the designates, especially as sanctioned by Dive Master Federation. What? It's, it's not fake. Spe How do you know it's fake? Come on, but what, what comrade said it's it's fake. Yeah, it's fake. I just, I just confirmed it with her. Okay. 
I thought for a second he was looking at a spelling mistake. This could be a war grave. Yeah, it's fake. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Oh yeah, of course. Don't forget to keep finger on L1 to move faster. Yeah, and don't press R1. Report finding an affluence. If you're so inclined. I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. Right, what is there around there? Is that perfume? It's only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. Well, I figured I just made an enemy of the captain. Shroud of Innocence. Hmm. <coughs> I don't know. Oh, I just, Joe, I just found, I just, I just found a um picture. Have it's you? Just the future. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, do you see where I am? Yeah, that picture. Huh. What am I looking at here? So it looks like you're drowning. We'll see. Uh... Got to bear that in mind. Excuse me. What? I'm meant to be checking on Brad here. Yeah, I'm checking on Brad. No, I'm I am. Cool. I'm. I got told to. I got told to too. I'm the cool one, apparently. There you are. Now, 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 okay, now you can check on him. Get your get out of my face. <laughs> What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that Bruski got the better of me. But yeah, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not making it. I'm not making friends with Fleece anytime soon because I think Jeez, I made him man. mad. You should know how to handle your liquor. Lay off. I'm just try to bond with Conrad, like you said. My guzzling bruise. Come on. Okay, okay. You go hit the high seas. Yeah, I kind of made it. I kind of made a drink booze. I told him to lay off it. Okay, okay. Uh, that's probably the captain's quarters. Right, anything else we need to check? Uh, let's check the bedroom. Hello, what's this? <coughs> no locker. <coughs> hey. Hey, uh, hey, I was well, just. What'd you come in here for, office, anyway? Uh, Get back, go away. I want, I want to look. Go on, go away. Oh, I can't check it anymore. Hey, hey, back. Well, there's nothing back here. I'm going back on top. Oh, whatever. Let's just go back to deck. No, so keep an eye out for pictures. Did you have a chat? By the way, did you have a chat with uh, police? No. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Seems like Conrad's the only one who respects the hierarchy around here. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules, and laws, and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? How experienced are you? <laughs> Excuse me? I mean, I know what your fake credentials say, but I don't know the truth. <laughs> I already told Conrad about that. Of course you already told Conrad about that. Temporary. <laughs> are you telling her about the fake, um... Yes. Oh, we are not making friends with Fleece anytime soon. Now is it? So I guess that applies to all of us. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing right. it would be illegal and immoral. Fine. I get it. How much? How much what? How much money will it take for you to stop breathing down her necks? You. Uh, uh, what are you? Do, what are you telling? What, what are you talking to her about? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Yeah, whatever. She's the Emily of the group. Okay, 
So, this is the right, I'm, I'm talking to Julie at the moment. A regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces the compression time on your... <coughs> it's definitely an interesting concept of having two players same play at the same time. Okay. O2 check done. Oh, you, where, where are you Hello, going? Oh, Eager Beaver, you gotta check diving. out first. <laughs> You're diving? Thanks for sending me straight. Oh, hey, guys. What, Jesus, why are you so loud? I almost completely forgot. When I was looking at the dive cam, I saw this huge hole in the tail. Kablooey. That's your way into the plane. Oh, nice work, man. Thanks, Connor. Yeah. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. <laughs> oh, you know what's gonna happen with me, me, Joe. Right, what shall I take? I might. <laughs> I got the bank stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ha ha. You ever have to use one? On a shark? Nope. Oh, at least most of you have a graphical glitch. Let's better not be Please. pissy this whole trip. Yeah, she should remember who's signing the checks. Very large checks. <laughs> so you're going underwater, and I'll probably stay in the boat. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you don't get eaten by sharks down there. Dude, I'm getting a graphical glitch. What's going on? Are you? I'm not. Oh no, please don't tell me this game's erratastic. No, okay, it's fine at the moment, which is probably just a one glitch. Oh, that was a, that was a, that was a simple chapter. Right, now we're probably switching characters. Characters! Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I'll probably, uh, let's see, what's, who am I, who am I now? Wonder if I could play as Julia. We'll see, make sure you keep an eye for a picture down there. Hello, ball. Alright, I think I'm coming down there with you, Joe. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second... You're oh, you're Julia. playing as Julia! Hey! No, fresh Who, I see who you play as then, no when it comes to... Comrade or Fliss. Seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company... So what, you're at the top? I'm playing as Fliss. Ah, oh, so you're, you're at the top, I'm at the bottom, Joe. Hey, Joe, how are you doing? Your friends down there. I'm back at the boat. Come on. Oh, you're I'm going underwater. Where'd you get the cash? Yeah, well, you get, don't you get eaten by sharks. There's no sharks out here, okay? You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying <laughs> myself, and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right Joe, place. it's wonderful down there. You should join us. It would be my singular pleasure to help you. Yeah, but just said, it just said your fliss on my screen. Uh, Why can't I go down I there? The go down there on your own time. We have plenty of time. Yeah, nothing, nothing. There's not like a, something horrible is going to happen. Oh, ooh, that was close. Weather looks clear. Hmm. <laughs> Man, that that would be dangerous if I accidentally press square. Then. Uh oh, it's getting mighty crowded out here. We, I'm swimming. Right. Hold on, what, what's that I'm looking at? Oh, I found another picture. Oh, I'm looking at the binoculars again. See, is there anything different out there? Yeah, I just, I just looks got like it's, yeah, it looks like it's getting stormy. I just got found another premonition, Joe. Nice, well done. <laughs> but can you get it down here, Joe? <laughs> oh, actually, I'll look at the tablet. I might be able to see you on there. That is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. 
Hey! What? She just said, I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Hey! Live a little. Man, there's bullet holes everywhere in this thing. Oh, hey, I'm tuning in the radio. Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia? Duke to Alex. Duke to Lulia. Julia. Ross has found a secret! Yeah, I found, I found a, uh, yeah, I found, I found a shell. Hello, is anyone picking up? I'm busy! Can you pick up? <laughs> I don't see any radio signs, okay? You... Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia? <laughs> I'm enjoying swimming down here, Joe. Maybe there's a seat. Joe, right, Joe, um, since you're flesh, go to, go to a room. Sorry, my fault, I pressed R1. <laughs> um, go to her room, Joe. The room on the left, which, which was locked. Yeah. Right. Okay, let's go downstairs. I love a secret. I found another secret. I might talk to Comrade, I don't know, but I'll go downstairs in the room. Not sure how long it is. I'm not sure how long it is until we attend the part. I'm guessing it'll give you a signal. It will. It, I'm just going to do this in, like, in hours. When it ends, it ends. Just give me... Alright. But, whenever it says video clipped, I'll ask if you want a break. Alright. No, I'll be I'll be fine at the moment. Okay. I just found, I just, I just found something else. I found two secrets. Have you found anything? No, I haven't. I'm just looking at the same stuff over again. Oh, probably I have to talk to Comrade. I don't know. Can you get? Into, <coughs> could you get? In, could you get into the room? I am in the bedroom. All right. So, uh, her I've, 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 <gasps> oh, right. Okay, this is a separate room. <laughs> you want to radio me? Oh, I think I might have just. Oh, I found a picture. Nice. Why do I keep these around? Yep, okay. it says. Okay. What, what did that say? It was showing a dude pointing a gun at someone while the boat's getting away or something. I'll keep that in mind. Do you, want radio, do, do you want to try radio me again? Yeah, I'll come back up there. This is probably a terrible decision. Oh, I hope I didn't make the Duke wrong decision. Alex. Duke to Julia? Right, come on, pick up. No, I'm a bit... Oh, Joe, I've dropped... Uh, Joe, I've dropped it. <gasps> you what? Octopus! Octopus! <laughs> What's going on down there? <laughs> it's an octopus. I d d d d d don't panic, Joe, but I'm not... Hey but I don't Is have um, my oxygen tank on me at the moment. You can monitor the dive while I do some boat maintenance. Not a problem. Oh Bob. flip! Oh flip! Oh flip! Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry, Joe. It's all fine. Okay, whatever. Whew. <laughs> that was close. Vacation. Watch me. So, comrades, the Chris. Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. Spirit realm. <laughs> oh, we got some guys coming up on the boat. I found a... Um, I found something. A secret! Fishing I found boat, flight plans. The looks of it. How should we handle this? Let me guess, it's a trophy for getting all the flight plans, and also probably a trophy for having everyone be alive. We? We're gonna do I'm that. I'm not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? What's going on? Oh, it's just uh, uh, Joe. What? The, the plane's falling apart. Oh shit! Guys, you gotta keep back. We've got divers in the water. Shark, We've got divers shark. in. <laughs> Joe, there's a shark. Who are these people on the boat? Hey, we got damage here. You see this? 
Uh, there are the sharks out there. We can take care of this man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like uh, ten bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Well, shoot, you you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. What's he right, throwing money? Guys drive a hard bar. What's in my eye? He's just throwing the whole pot. <laughs> what, what, what's he? Ross, guess what? He just threw. Come on, just threw the load of money in the water. No. And I was thinking that's the money I lost in poker. <laughs> Joe, I'm up, I'm up. up. I guess he didn't need the money. Uh, Joe, uh, j j j he he's asking to. to uh, Alex is asking oh, me to marry, Ju what? marry Julia. They left, didn't they? That doesn't make you any less of an idiot. You got a funny way of saying thank you, Conrad. Joe. Guess what? Here what? Piece of work, Conrad. Looks like, looks, looks, it looks, it looks like, it looks like Julia and Alex are getting married. Is it working? I don't even know what it is. Thank you. Well, when you think of something. What do you mean, thank you? Taking in the view, flirting up a storm, hashtag wink. Yeah, like, they just got married un underwater. So what? Oh, the radio! Okay, I think they're I just got, I just got a trophy. Yep, you're on your way back up. We need to light the grill. Yeah, I said, yes, yes, I will marry you. Grill Capitan. You may light the grill. I just saw the other boat just run away. Well, drive away, sorry. I don't know why I keep saying that. What the heck? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Well, what come on, what you done? On? He's just he's just what? blown off the boat up. What's going on? Your comrade has just blown off the boat up. Your comrade! Oh wait, oh wait, I'm, oh wait, no, sorry, your flisk. What's going? What happened? What's going on up there? Uh, damn. Joe, flisk. what's going on up there? Joe, I've been serious. What the heck is going on up there? Before you do something stupid, right? It's I'm just having a, I'm just having a disagreement with um comrade. Something's just blown up. What blew up? Oh, here you are. What the hell is going on? Aye. What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. It was. It's, <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> it's the money I lost in poker. I know, it was money I was trying okay, Ross, you might want to listen. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, <laughs> what is wrong with you? It's a grill? <laughs> so why are you paying the ocean? <laughs> a group of fishermen came by and damaged their boat. Well, they got caught on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. So then uh, Ambassador Conrad figured the best move is to show him he'd rather throw away his money oh, than give them. them. You're an, You're an asshole. asshole. Whatever. Whatever. Who, cares, Who cares, right? right. What I want to know, know is, is what you guys, guys find. Well. well we found I can hear, I can hear feedback. It's huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? Look at that. Oh, holy shit. Dude, bro, congrats. Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. Also, Joe, did that, did that cut? <gasps> oh! This is probably the end of the chapter. Alright, do you want to pause it here, man? Hold on. No, I'll wait till the clip ends. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers, then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both <coughs> out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. He is a bold fellow. Maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss. Strong, forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms. So far, at least. Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. Apparently we're doing well. Excellent. Mm-hmm.
So we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball. Meatball? This meatball pulls mm. the ring out of now God your knows project. where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Conrad going to get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. <coughs> oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Yeah, that's what we found below deck. So I'm playing as... How does it feel to soon be known as... Oh, I'm playing as Brad. Said. Yep, I can see you walking around. Oh, I'm Julia. Again. Hmm, nothing to see with the camera. Look, go downstairs. Ah, here we go. Wait, what we found? What you found? I think just pictures of where you've been. Ah, right, nice, nice. Said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. <coughs> there you are, nice kiss. Gather room. <laughs> what room are outside? <laughs> hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Oh, jeez, I wonder what's gonna happen. Which one is, uh... You know, where the magic happens. Say nothing, say okay, nothing. Okay, that's enough of that. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. There we are, roll here, have a beer. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. See you later, guys. Congratulations again, dude. Seriously. I'm really happy for you guys. Can't believe I actually did it. <coughs> Why'd you do it on the dive? This camera broken. I wanted it to be memorable. It's not that memorable. I have to hand it to you. Popping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. Never thought you were the settling type. I'm proud of you, bro. I couldn't have done it without such a good bro, bro. Bro. Wait, what do you mean? You told me to follow my heart. Uh, one, I'm not that sappy. And two, I was talking about med school. Still, we're over the top, bro. So, we're going again tomorrow? Uh, I'm gonna go find Julia. Bradder for Brace and Lee. You got a girlfriend? Uh, I was, I was almost there. Not my strong suit. Hey, nothing to be ashamed of. We all hit our stride eventually. Me, I popped out full sprint, dragged my mom right off the table. Ew. Yeah. Let's make too big a deal out of getting girls. Yeah. What's the big deal about girls? I, I don't get it. Both right here. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. 
who wants to find some sunken treasure. So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? <coughs> it takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. There's gold out Anything in the else? water. There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. Uh-oh. What are you gonna say? No, hey, they were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> yeah, I heard a story. <laughs> Are you telling a ghost story? Seriously? You could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Well, oh, no. So well, what, 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 you, what did you say? Here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here. In an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait. True story? Where'd you hear this? <laughs> what are you going to say, Joe? I can't want you to say. <laughs> ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man. Skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world. A lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. <laughs> Say nothing. Be respectful. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and insists her parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? <laughs> okay, fine. Then it was a meat hook. They were slashed a meat hook. Meat hook and hung from the rafters. So gross. Okay, so who did it? <laughs> I want to hear. Come on. So the woman, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it, and he's still here, in the closet. Ha! <laughs> the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseats. You're locked in. <laughs> so the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and, sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees. It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Wasn't it just it wasn't scary? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You have me going. Pretty cool. 
<laughs> Get me on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh uh. No, no, no. No, because according oh, great, it's to a storm coming. regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> 10 4, good buddy. And I'm out. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I hope there's. I really hope there's. Who did you meet up there on the boat? There was a strange guy that had his like eyeball pop that had no pupil on his eye. Yeah. Oh, by, by the way, you're your comrade. <laughs> yeah, I'm comrade. And I'm Alex. So pretty much, would you say the game's longer to play than um on your own because you have to play as all the characters? Yeah, probably. Uh, who's that? Who was that at the centre in the door? Uh, what's going on? Yeah, I'm getting, Joe, we're getting, Joe, I'm getting attacked here. I'm getting I've got a pistol on my head. I've got a knife to my throat. Joe, is this, is this the guy you annoyed? <coughs> Joe, I need to Joe. I need to Joe. Is that the guy in the boat? Yes. Oh, for love of Pete, Joe, what have you done? Why did you Why did you make him mad? Oh, comrade. Why did comrade make him mad? What? I threw money at them. <laughs> I don't think they appreciate masogi money. Oh God, who do I untag? Me. Get, get me. Get, get me. Yeah, I'm not untagging you, Fliss. I'll untag you, I'll untag you next. Uh, <laughs> are you, are you, do you have a beer? Because that would have hurt like heck. Oh. I don't know how my guy didn't scream. Three, uh, I think. Just three. Where, uh, Joe, where's Brad? I'm just getting, just getting my, just getting the wife, <laughs> the the uh, future wife. I'm gagged. Tagged. Oh yeah, ungagged. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's it's ungagged. Yeah, because. Oh, Fred. Oh, Fred. Um. Good question. Where's Brad? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> well, if he, if he, is he dead? Let's hope not. Hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of, maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Molly. See? Damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. <laughs> and the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that? <laughs> I thought you were going to ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. All right, I'll, I'll untie you, Joe. We have to get free right now. <laughs> oh, no dice. Shit. You're going to regret this, you you're 
Oh! Whoops. Ah. Yeah, close light. Fuck off. Oh. I'll be back for you later. I can lock you. Oh. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. Okay, we'll little okay, little just fill me in what's going on out there. What's with that? What's with that voice? You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're you tell him, Pless. I can see, all I can see is your. You just get punched. Uh. Uh. I think I see another picture, by the way. Oh, yeah. You know how to treat a lady, right? <laughs> Get that knife away from me! Ah, uh, Joe! <laughs> Big... <coughs> no, I'm not... I love Pete. Don't you dare annoy him. Oh, these folks, thank you, Julia. Thank you, Julia. I think I've just saved Comrade's ass. Good. I've just, I've just, I've just, I've just breaking, I'm just breaking free of the ropes, by the way, so. Get off! Get off! <laughs> oh, there's Brad! Try to talk, well, okay, if you can see him, do not let them know. Who are you playing as? Alex. Oh, Jesus, okay. Conrad. Oh, wait, crud, wait, no. Alex! Stop it! Let her go! You bastards! Hey. Dipstick. Shut the fuck up. That's, that's a weird way to say it. I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Uh, Did you see my brother? Yeah. He's hiding. He's okay. Alright. Turn around. Alright. By the way, anything else you've seen out there that could help us? Don't let them see your hands. Hmm. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. <clears throat> Fuck! Motherfuckers! Oh, I got oh, a no, just, love birds. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. They asked about her parents. Oh, how great. How much money they have. Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? They took my ring. Julia, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> good so far, isn't it? Oh, it's getting good now. I thought it was going to be boring at first. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. It's definitely making me inter interested in getting the second one that's coming out this week. Get some help. Alright. 
Do you get the plan? These fuckers need to pay. We gotta take them down. They can try to fight back, but if we had the gun, they'd be forced to surrender. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll, um... Here, I'll climb out this window, take a look around. Just scope it out. You guys distract them, so they don't see me sneaking. Okay, let's do it. Do you, do you see that picture on the right? Oh, it's a person of mine. Two, three, wait, wait, wait until, five, until the thunder comes. What the hell, guys? Oh, she's... What, did we press it at the wrong time? We were way too late. Yes! Got me right on the... Right on the... Got him, I got him! What are you doing? What are you doing, Joe? Sure I've got all of the men with the knife. I got this. And now he's pointing the gun at me. <laughs> Don't worry. We, we got. We got him. Think about what you're doing, boy. What is with that voice? Right. Get to the boat. Get out. Go. This kid's trying to kill me or something. Joe, what are you gonna do? Look, I told you to get to the boat. So that's just my opinion. <laughs> what did, why did you get to the boat? I was trying to take the gun. No, don't forget the gun. No. Oh. Alex. I can't, I can't do anything now. You win. You what? I could, Joe, if I said, if I did the other option, you would die. I told you to get to the boat. Use it if you have to. I needed the gun! No, you did not need it, the gun! I did! No, you didn't! Over there. <laughs> You did not need the gun. Arrêtez, bande de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Olsen! Come here! Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo? Well, that was a great screw-up. <laughs> 